starshine lights my way to bed. Magic rainbows glisten in my head. Just like a child, I live in Wonderland. All my dreams are coming true. Hi, I'm here with a video today to share with you a, a new top that I've actually drafted myself. I drafted a pattern, yay, so exciting. So, um, pattern drafting is something that um, has been on my agenda for the last 12 months or so really. I think it kind of, it can become the next step in your sewing journey once you've uh, kind of mastered the different techniques of um, sewing. The next challenge for me is to be able to draft my own patterns but unfortunately I'm not able to attend any university or college courses because I've got a full-time job and a work shift so I'm on, uh, I, I, in one week I've, I've never got a, a particular day where I could go for a night class or something like that so needed to try and learn it myself. I did treat myself last year to a super tool um, to help with drafting my own patterns and that's called the Pattern Drafter. I'll just grab that now. So this is the Pattern Drafter and this allows you to quickly and easily draft your own slopers or block patterns which is a basic pattern that you then um, manipulate into different designs and, and different styles. Um, I, I'd done loads and loads of research before I bought this and I tried to kind of learn how to create block patterns from reading books and um, watching some craftsy classes and things but I just found it it was too complicated there's too much maths involved and I'm absolutely hopeless at maths my brain just won't absorb that kind of information and it was making me really frustrated and then I kept on um, putting it to one side and saying no I'll come back to it and and it never happened so I did treat myself to this um, fantastic tool and this allows you to draft your own sloper front and back literally in 10 to 15 minutes without understanding any of the maths that sits behind it or anything you just need body measurements and then you follow the instructions on um, how to use the different parts of this tool to create your own um, block pattern. I'm not going to do a demonstration on um, how to use this because I'll I'll put a link in actually the Maria from who, who created this tool um, from the Pattern Drafter has got a YouTube video showing the demonstration on how it's used um, here on YouTube itself so I'll just put a link into that. So these are my slopers that I created that kind of transferred them onto cardstock here so that I can trace around them again and again. So here is the front, um, you've got a bust dart and you've got a waist dart but if you wanted a fitted garment. And here is the back um, which has got the waist dart. So then what you do is you um, trace around those onto pattern paper and then manipulate it however you like. Um, another key tool might be quite difficult to see because it's see-through is a French curve so a French curve really helps with getting necklines and armholes um, easily drawn on um, using the the curve now what I've actually done is a mini series on Instagram TV for anybody who is over on Instagram do check out my channel um, I use the Instagram TV for um, more in the moment videos that aren't edited or haven't got nice lighting and stuff like that they're just kind of core in the moment videos um, and I have kind of done a mini series on my uh, pattern drafting diary as what as what I've called it uh, primarily it's there for me to refer back to so when I, I can kind of see a bit like my learning log I can see what I've learned along the way so um, when I first um, drafted the um, pattern for the top I'm wearing so I'll just show you it's a loose fitting top I've purposely made it loose fitting um, just a basic bodice with a high neck um, and I've attached a, a gathered peplum to the bottom it's got bust darts I've kept the waist darts open because I wanted it to have that loose fit and at the back I've got a centre seam but then I've kept um, so much of it open um, at the top so that I can easily get the top on and off over my head and then I've just fastened it with a 
who can I and put a little button on for um, kind of display purposes really it isn't a functional button but the first time that I made up a twirl um, of the pattern that I drafted um, what I found is that it fitted well everywhere other than the armhole I found that the armhole had quite a bit of spare fabric in there and it was gaping out so you can see here that's how much too big it was around the armhole um, so I did some research the pattern drafter um, tool if you buy one you do become a member of the um, Facebook group and then you can get loads of help and support either from Maria or other people who are more experienced at pattern drafting um, over in the Facebook group so I shared what my problems were and um, they helped me to um, sort out how to make the changes to my pattern so that I got rid of that gaping and ultimately what I needed to do was take that spare fabric out of the armhole and transfer it into the bust art so that loose fabric is going somewhere without changing um, the actual fit of the um, bodies in other areas because it fitted fine everywhere else. So what I did for the Instagram TV channel I did record a video which shows how to make those changes to the paper pattern. I will include, I think I can include a link to Instagram TV in the um, notes of the video but what I've also done is um, transferred that video into the right format for uh, YouTube and although it does cut off a little bit of the video because on Instagram TV you work with a, a, a vertical video and obviously it's more horizontal on YouTube you can still see um, I, I think it makes perfect sense as to what I'm doing even though the bottom of it is cropped off a little bit so what I will do is I will add in that video um, in YouTube format at the end here for you to watch it or um, if you do find it difficult to follow with the um, with it with it being cropped then click the link and go and watch the full view video over on Instagram TV so I hope that that helps you to understand how to kind of fix a, a gaping arm hole if you have one so I'm really really pleased with how this top has turned out um, it, it's, it's turned out exactly how I uh, wanted it to I'm just going to come in and show you the details so I wanted a high neckline because I find that they do suit me better and as I say on the back I don't know whether you can see um, I've just got like a keyhole opening so that I can fit it over my head it fits loosely through the body so I've got lots of ease built in around the waist because I did want it to be a loose fitting top um, but it has got the bust darts which um, bring it in closer around that bust area and then since making that adjustment I'm much happier with the fit around the armholes that's the back so, so it does still have ease built in around the armhole so that it's comfortable but I haven't got any kind of fabric gaping at all so that is it, I just wanted to share with you the um, top that I've drafted myself. Um, do let me know in the notes below if you draft your own patterns um, and if you don't, if that is something that um, you are looking to learn how to do. Oh, in fact, one thing I forgot to tell you, the pattern drafter tool um, that I uh, treated myself to, it really is an investment because it, it's not cheap. It, it was about £100 if I remember rightly, but because it was being um, delivered from Australia, I also had to pay import tax of about £26. Um, so, it, 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 you know, it, it is something that you want to be clear that you've got a need for before before you buy it but for me it's worth its weight in gold because it's allowed me to to do this pattern drafting start this pattern drafting process i think i wouldn't be able to have, uh, have mastered it without that um, but if you are better at maths than me and you can follow instructions and books and things then that might be a cheaper option but for me it was worth every penny um, so yeah that is it I just wanted to drop in and share this with you if you want to carry on watching the video to see how I made that adjustment to the paper pattern then uh, carry on watching or if you'd rather see it in full view um, hopefully the link in the video notes will work to take you over to Instagram TV so have a wonderful week whatever you're up to and I will see you very soon bye Okay, so I'm just going to show you how to make the adjustment on the bodice um, to get rid of this bulk in the armhole area. Um, so you can see I've got my pins in here which show how much bulk needs to be removed and it's 
a total of an inch because you've got a half an inch there um, but obviously that's because it's folded so I've got an inch that I need to take out of this armhole and I can see that my bulk was sitting kind of um, higher up from the notch on the armhole so that's where I want to make my adjustment so what I'm going to do um, first of all is I need to find the bust point on the pattern uh, and that's really simple and easy to do all you do is draw straight through the the two darts so the bust dart just draw straight through it and continue the line over and then on the waist dart as well so straight through the center and where those two lines meet there that is the bust point so what I'm going to be doing is transferring this bulk from the armhole to this dart, so this dart is going to go bigger. So what I want to do um, first of all is measure the amount that I want to take out of this armhole. So um, you can kind of start the, the line wherever you want to really. I'm going to start it here. Um, I'm above the notch and it's an inch that I want to take out so then from that top line I'm just going to join from there to that dart point then what I need to do is cut that slash so from the armhole to that dart point but not through the dart point I want to keep a little hinge but I also want to cut all the way through the center of this dart as well but again leaving a little gap so I've got a hinge There we go, so it's still attached. Oops. But it's got it's it's hinged on in the centre. So what I'm then going to do is simply close that gap off on the armhole. So there's my mark. So I'm going to lift the armhole up until it connects with that line. I'm just going to put a bit of tape on. And you can see ultimately what it's done is it shifted that inch gap that was in the armhole to here on the dart. So my dart is going to be bigger. Um, what I now need to do is just stick some paper behind that dart so that I can redraft. And you can see now my arm hole is a little bit out of shape as well so I'm going to need to put a bit of paper behind there so that I can redraft the arm hole so I'm just going to get the French curve to redraft that arm hole um, I'm just going to use the curve and draw that that curve back in so um, that's where the arm hole here is and that's where it's cut away so I'm just going to join those so I'll just cut that out um, and then with the dart I do need to um, so, so this is now my new dart it's wider but I need to uh, true it to uh, make sure that I've got the right shape coming over on the outside so I will just um, 
get that prepared and then I'll show you how I true the dot. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how to true this dart now. So um, because I want the bulk of the dart to be um, pointing downwards, I'm going to start with folding the bottom leg of the dart. And all I'm simply going to do is fold it just as though you were, you were closing the dart and take that up to meet the other leg. And then with my uh, tracing wheel, I'm just going to trace over that straight side seam there and then when I open it up I can see then that there that's the shape of the dart so that's the um, dart that I need to cut out. Um, I need to make sure that I am um, not taking the dart to this bust point because you do want it to end um, in from the bust point otherwise you look a bit like um, Madonna back in the Vogue days. Um, so I'm just going to redraft the point of the dart. And that is it, so I will cut out um, this spare piece of paper now, uh, but there is my um, new dart, so it's this line to this line, and that's the centre point of my dart, and um, I'll get this sewn up and see if it fits. Magic rainbows glisten in my head Just like a child I live in wonderland All my dreams are coming true Heavy shackles used to hold me down Now my feet don't even reach the ground Just like a prisoner when his sentence ends All my dreams are coming